Friends, as boring as this looks, yours truly gets great enjoyment sitting at this desk and programming athletes from all over the world. It's literally a dream job, and I am truly blessed to have coached many from this very spot. Perhaps even many of you watching, I have coached from that spot. That said, I got a new level of enjoyment by traveling across the country and handling folks at their competitions backstage during 2023. I felt so much more like a coach on the sidelines, more so than I ever have before. Coaching Dave here to his silver medal at USAPL Raw Nationals was literally a high. I was directing his warm-ups, putting in his attempts, tracking his performance on all of his lifts, as well as closest competitors for positioning. It truly served my competitive desires. It was thrilling trying to hold on to his lead after the squats and the bench were done, while also making sure that we could secure his spot on the podium, knowing full well that his lead would disappear once the gold medalist had his deadlift. Then later that year, handling bodybuilders backstage at a few bodybuilding competitions, most notably WNBF World Championships. Wow, it nearly matched that high. Checking my athletes' condition daily as we were peaking them for what we were planning to be their best ever look, it truly felt like coaching. Even more so the day of the show. I could almost feel my athletes putting 100% of their trust in me. Trusting eyes glued to me as I was directing their actions, calling the shots, making sure that they knew what was happening and serving their every need as we were getting them ready for what they had been preparing months and months for. While not quite as thrilling as watching your lifter get that lift that guarantees them the silver medal, it comes close when you see your bodybuilder get overlooked in the symmetry round and then come first call out for the muscularity round. Tyler here on the far right, he did just that. After nearly not getting called out at all in the symmetry round, come the muscularity round, he was one of the first ones out there. You could almost see the judges moving him up and placing as they were comparing him to the other bodybuilders. All through the muscularity round, bodybuilders would come and they would go as they were comparing. And Tyler, I'm sure, he must have been exhausted as he stayed up there from the very first call out watching the other bodybuilders come and go until the very last call out. It was thrilling to watch, but Tyler, he did himself and he did the whole team proud. 2023, it was, it was truly a remarkable year in handling all these athletes backstage. To be honest with you, I am itching to do it more in 2024. It is such a thrill to not only see my athlete's face just relax when I'm calling the shots, they're putting their every trust into me as I'm telling them what to do and directing their every need. But I tell you what, that joy that they get from doing well and exceeding their expectations, I feel it too. It serves the dad pride in me. And although it doesn't quite come as close as when I see my son succeed, it's a very, very close second, and I get emotional every time. Thank you to all of the Team 3DMJ athletes who have put their trust in me, guiding them all these years. Team, it's been almost, a de actually, it's been over a decade now. It was truly an honor to serve you, and I'm looking forward to serving an even larger, even more expanding team of 3DMJ athletes in the very, very near future. Let's go.